dear students today we are going to learn a very simple and interesting poem indian viewers by sarojini naidu in this lecture you will learn general introduction explanation of all the three stanzas poetic devices and appreciation of the poem sarojini naidu was a political activist she took part in the indian freedom struggle she was the first woman who became the president of the indian national congress she is also known as the nightingale of india she was a feminist who fought for the rights of women in our society she started writing poems from her very early age indian viewers is a short poem of three quatrains quatrain is a stanza of four lines in this poem the poet writes about the three stages of human life birth adulthood and death she used color imagery in the poem the entire poem is written in a dialogue form let's see the poem indian viewers sarojini naidu viewers waving at break of day why do you view a garment so gay blue as the wing of a healthy and wild we view the robes of a newborn child viewers waving at fall of night why do you view a garment so bright like the plumes of a peacock purple and green we view the marriage veils of a queen viewers waving solemn and still what do you view in the moonlight chill white as a feather and white as a cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud these are the poetic lines these are the three stanzas now come to stanza number 1 viewers waving at break of day why do you view a garment so gay blue as the wing of a healthy and wild we view the robes of a newborn child now in this stanza there are some new words break of day means early in the morning gay means bright and beautiful garment means dress halcyon halcyon means kingfisher it is a type of bird a robe means dress viewers are waving a garment early in the morning the poet asked them why they are waving a beautiful garment so early in the morning the viewers reply that they are waving such charming dress for a newborn child the color of the dress is as blue as the wing of a wild halcyon in this stanza the poet describes the first stage of human life that is birth or young age the blue color symbolizes something beautiful and precious the time early in the morning stands for the beginning of life there is no sorrow in this stage the stage is full of happiness hope and beauty stanza number 2 viewers waving at fall of night why do you view a garment so bright like the plumes of a peacock purple and green we view the marriage veils of a queen now in this stanza we see description of adulthood see the new words fall of night means the time immediately after sunset or we call it dusk plums means soft feathers marriage veils stands for special marriage dress now in this stanza the poet meets the indian viewers during the fall of night it refers to the evening or dusk time at this time most of the indian marriages take place she asks them why they are weaving such a bright colored garment the viewers answer that they are weaving the marriage veils of a queen the color of the marriage veils is compared to the feathers of peacock the second stanza describes the second stage of human life that is adulthood during this stage humans are quite active they get married and quest for a better and prosperous life 
the colors purple and green symbolize sorrow and happiness ups and downs of life make the adulthood bright now come to stanza number 3 viewers viewing solemn and still what do you view in the moonlight chill white as a feather and white as a cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud now see the new words solemn means serious chill means cold <coughs> shroud is a cloth in which a dead person is wrapped in the third stanza the viewers are sorrowful and silent the poet asks them what are they weaving in the cold moonlight they reply that they are weaving a shroud for a dead person the shroud is a white sorry the shroud is as white as a feather or a cloud the final stanza of the poem refers to the third stage of human life that is death the moonlight chill relates to death the white color symbolizes that something is colorless or lifeless this is a sad occasion the poem begins with life joy and hope and the poem ends with sorrow and death poetic devices to make the poem more attractive the poet used many pure of speech number 1 simile a direct comparison between two different things or objects is called simile to compare the two different things as or like is used for example why do you view the garment so gay blue as the wing of a healthy and wild now in this example the blue garment is compared to the wing of a healthy and in this way in simile there is direct comparison and in the comparison word as or like is used find out more two examples of simile from the poem metaphor an indirect comparison between two different things or objects is called metaphor in this figure of speech one thing is described as another for example viewers viewing at break of day now here a start of new life is indirectly compared to break of day in metaphor one thing is described as another find out more two examples of metaphor from the poem number 3 alliteration repetition of a consonant sound in two or more neighboring words is called alliteration the repeated sounds are usually the first or initial sounds for example viewers viewing at fall of night now in this example viewers viewing here sound w is repeated so this is an example of alliteration inversion in this figure of speech word order is disturbed words have been rearranged for poetic effect for example what do you view in the moonlight chill now in this example the word order is rearranged the correct word order should be what do you view in the chill moonlight this is an example of inversion rhyme scheme see the first stanza of the poem tell me which are the rhyming words he and gay wild and child are the rhyming words the first line rhymes to the second and the third line rhymes to the fourth so the rhyme scheme is a a b b the same rhyme pattern is followed in the second and the third stanza quatrain a quatrain is a type of stanza consisting of four lines there are three quatrains in the poem indian viewers imagery imagery is language used by poets to create images in the mind of readers in the poem the poet used color imagery to describe various garments for example blue as the wing of a healthy and wild or 
white as a feather and white as a cloud now these are the examples of color imagery appreciation of the poem write a poetic appreciation of the poem indian viewers with the help of the following points see the points about the poem poet and the title the theme of the poem the language and poetic devices special features message and morals in the poem your opinion about the poem now see point number first about the poem poet and the title indian viewers is a poem written by sarojini naidu the poem is taken from her first volume of poetry the golden threshold published in 1905 the poem has three quatrains depicting the three stages of human life birth adulthood and death sarojini naidu was a political activist she took part in the indian freedom struggle she was the first woman who became the president of the indian national congress she is also known as the night angel of india she was a feminist who fought for the rights of women in society the title of the poem reveals the characters in the poem and their location the readers understand that there are viewers in the poem and they are indian the title of the poem reveals indian social scenery the language sorry point number second the theme of the poem the poem beautifully symbolizes the various stages of life the poet attributes different colors and different parts of the day to these stages the viewers view a blue dress for a newborn baby in the morning they view a green and purple marriage veil for a queen in the evening and a white funeral shroud for a dead person at night birth adulthood and death are the three stages of human life depicted in the poem point number 3 the language and poetic devices the poem indian viewers is written in iambic tetrameter there are three stanzas having the rhyme scheme of a a b b c c d d and e e f f in every stanza there is a question asked by the poet and the viewers give the answers simile metaphor alliteration inversion such poetic devices make the poem more attractive all the stanzas contain color imagery special features of the poem the poem is written in a dialogue form the poet asks questions to the indian viewers and the viewers reply her this is the contextual meaning of the poem but the poem has a deeper meaning symbolically the poem represents the three stages of life the poem also refers to the cycle of life and death the poem has two meanings surface meaning and deeper meaning message and morals in the poem the poem depicts the three stages of life we understand each stage of life and unique emotions related to that life stage the poem gives the message of the perpetual motion of life the poem teaches the universal truths of human life my opinion about the poem i learned the poem and i enjoyed it this is a short poem with rhyme and rhythmic beauty the poem is full with imagery and other poetic devices i love such beautiful and attractive expressions the deeper meaning of the poem gives a philosophical touch to it really i enjoyed the poem by learning surface meaning and deeper meaning in this way we may write appreciation of the poem once again read the poem and prepare your own notes thank you for watching